Hi guys, welcome back. I want to real quickly go over the plan for analyzing the data from the mass of the electron experiment. We've got the voltage of the source here, the voltage of the filament. This is actually data from a couple of years ago, I think, but it should be very similar to the data you collected. And uh, first thing I want to do is to calculate the effective potential energy drop of the average electron, which is going to be equal to the uh, power supply voltage minus half the filament voltage. So let's go ahead and put that guy in. And then I want to also add the proportionality constant between the magnetic field of the coil and the current in the coil. You'll remember we worked this out in class, but it's this uh, all this stuff that multiplies the current, 8 mu 0 n over the square root of 125 r. So let's go ahead and put that in. It's 8 times mu0, which is just a constant here, times n, which was 72 turns of wire, divided by the square root of 125 times the radius of the Helmholtz coils, which was 33 centimeters. So I'll put that guy in, and that'll be then available for us to use to calculate the magnetic field. The radius of each orbit is just half the diameter of the orbit, which is already in a in a uh, column over here. So I put the formula in the top cell and then I can just drag that formula down and it will calculate the radius for the other cells. Then I, uh, I want to calculate the square root of 2v over r. Remember the model is that the magnetic field of the coil goes like the square root of 2v over r times the square root of m over q. I, I'm using this as a straight line, a linear equation so that I can use a linear trend line on the spreadsheet to extract the mass of the electron. So the idea is I'll put in here the square root of 2 times the effective accelerating potential divided by the radius of the orbit. Boom, like that. But realize that this cell here, 29.75 volts, is uh, never changing. As I copy this formula down, I want to always point back to that cell. So I want to go in here and put a dollar sign in front of the B and the 3, so the spreadsheet knows not to change the address of that cell as I copy the formula down. So that gives me the square root of 2V over R. Finally, I want to calculate B of T, which is going to be the current in that trial, times this proportionality constant. But again, that proportionality constant is an absolute reference, because I don't want that changing as I copy the formula. So I put that in with a dollar sign as shown here. Okay, so now I can make my chart. I select the columns. I say insert chart and I want to select a um, scatter plot. So I'll do that. It's a scatter plot and then I'll say okay. And notice that uh, this is not, this is just a legend. We can, oopsie, get rid of that guy. How do I get rid of that? Clear legend. There we go. Um, looks like a pretty decent plot. I'm going to add a trend line, a linear trend line, and you can see that the data actually looks like it goes through the trend line pretty well. If you want to learn the slope, you just click Advanced Edit, and then if you hover over the line, it will tell you the slope, 2.476 times 10 to the negative 6. So I'll go ahead and copy that down. 2.476 E negative 6. Then the question is, how do I get the mass of the electron from that? I thought back to my model. That slope is the square root of m over q. So if I square the slope, I'll have m over q. If I multiply by q, I'll have m. So I'll do that. This is equal to the slope squared times the charge on the electron, 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19. Now Google tells me the answer is 0. Well, we know that can't be right. So it must be that it doesn't have, it, that's too small of a number for its brain. So I'm going to multiply by 10 to the 31, and we'll just know that the, the answer is the number that appears times 10 to the minus 31. So what we're getting for the mass of the electron is 9.8 times 10 to the negative 31. That's less than 10% from the accepted value. So given the uh, simplicity of this experiment, I think that's a pretty good result. All right. We'll see you guys next time.